guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, for this fun little time, timey-wimey lapse, um, I wanted to talk about my process when it comes to making some watercolor galaxy animals. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I highly suggest you do, then you know I'm doing this series on watercolor animals. Whether I started off in Aruba on the beach when I was actually using actual ocean water for my actual, you know, the water for the watercolor painting. So it ate up all of my watercolor in my palette, but the results were amazing. It really brought out the colors. Now, as you can see, I sketched out the turtle with a pencil with a lead that is a 4F. So it's very, very light lead and it'll erase easily. And then once I'm done sketching it out, I go around with my kneaded eraser and I erase all the hardcore lines. Like I need the lines for sketching so I can still see my animal and I can still see where the markings are on the animal. And then what I like to do is I always work on the background first. Now you can see this technique does not involve masking fluid. So I always start with the background first. I let the background, the first layer of background dry, and then I'll probably, I jump around a lot, guys. You'll see that in any of my watercolor paintings, I'm always jumping around. So I go from my watercolor background, and then what's not touching the animal inside, I will go and I, I will apply the first layer of galaxy onto that animal. Now you can see I have no color scheme whatsoever. If anything, I keep using like, if there's a purple in one spot, I use the blue in another spot, or I use the royal blue in one spot, or I use the cobalt blue to go over that. But if you watch any of my watercolor galaxy technique videos when it comes to watercolor, then you know that it's all based on layers. Layers are your best friend. And if you, I really, it it's a really, high patience manner okay because I wait I have it's these galaxy watercolor animals because I'm not using masking fluid I'm not using a hair hair dryer to dry as fast as possible it takes me about four hours to make these paintings just because I'm patient and I let the water sit because if you can see oh, below the turtle's fin, you can see how that awesome like texture comes out when you actually leave the watercolor alone and just let it dry in one spot. It gives the coolest texture. If you've worked with watercolor before, you know what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I add a little bit of white gouache. White gouache is what I use for the stars and to like dilute the colors just a bit, just to give it some highlights and everything. And for the very last part, I leave the markings like you know what a sea turtle looks like and you know that it has those spots. So I leave them for last. And then that's when I would go in and I would use white gouache to do the stars and stuff. But once again, it's a matter of jumping around because, okay, if my turtle, I'm waiting on my turtle to dry, but this side of the background's dry, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put stars there. It's just a matter of jumping around and, and always, it's just experience, okay? Because once you work with watercolor a lot, then you know what you can do with it. And watercolor has a mind of its own, so it's your job to start to figure out how to manipulate watercolor. <laughs> so I've been watercoloring for about mm, four years now, so I've gotten used to watercolor. I don't know all its wonderful trades and secrets yet. I don't think I'll ever know the wonderfulness of watercolor, but, um, I guess as long as I keep practicing, then maybe I'll figure it out along the way. So I'm just here just sharing some, I always share my techniques with you guys. So this is just a technique that doesn't involve masking fluid. It is a galaxy technique. I have several tutorials on it. And as you see, I um, white gouache, I always use white gouache. Uh, the brand that I have is Winsor & Newton and it's called something like opaque or something like that. But um, would not, you can use white acrylic paint on it, wouldn't suggest it, but it's just because gouache dilutes and it fades into the watercolor and it just gives it a really, really cool effect. I mean, like I said, the more you work with it, the more you're going to understand watercolor. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you have been asking me how to do this. So this is as close as I can get to an actual tutorial on this technique. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye!
Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button. And hey, if you liked this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff, and like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see y'all later. Bye!